Hey y'all, it's your girl Shanice where you see me, I be me, and we enjoy each other's company. So as you can see by the title, um, I will be showing you how to make lip gloss. It is beginner friendly. My previous video, if you haven't already checked that out, make sure you do. It's just sharing tips and certain products and ingredients that you will need in order to make the lip gloss. But this video, will act, I will actually be showing you how to make the lip gloss step by step so tune in before we get into the video make sure you like comment and subscribe so we can continue to enjoy each other's company and if you found this video helpful leave a comment also i will be leaving the link to my website in the description below as well i hope you enjoy this video and find it very very helpful if you yourself is starting a lip gloss business <music> As you can see, I already got on my, my hair covering to protect any particles as I'm making the lip gloss. I've already sanitized my area and I will be using gloves as well while making the lip gloss. So you also want to make sure your area that you're making your lip gloss is very, very clean, distraction free, and you have on a hairnet or hair tie to pull your hair back out your face while you're making the lip gloss. Um, the lip gloss that I'll be making is a new lip gloss. Um, it's not sold on my website, it's just something new. Drop in the comments any name suggestions for this lip gloss um, and I might add it to my site if you all love it. Um, again, this is just a video just showing you how to make lip gloss. And again, drop a comment for any name suggestions for this gloss that we are about to make. Not only will I be making the lip gloss, I will also be trying it on as well. And also, I will be showing you um, the lip gloss, how to make lip gloss with liquid pigment versus the Mika powder pigment. So, just wanted to add a little disclaimer: the quality of this video may be a little different because something is going on with my camera; it's been overheating. So, just wanted to add that in there. All right, y'all. So, I have on my gloves. First things first, you wanna get a bowl. I prefer glass bowls because it's easier to clean with hot water and soap. Um, the color that we are choosing today for this new gloss is purple. Um, again, like I said, I will be um, using um, the Mika powder and then I will be showing the difference from the liquid pigment as well. The scent that I chose is lavender. Um, I always go for like a fruity scent, so I just wanted to try something different. And then also a purple glitter to add and spice things up. And the carrier oils that I'm using for this gloss is grapeseed oil and 100% coconut oil. My syringe is already prepped and ready. This is a 60 milliliter syringe and pipette taped to the end that my gloss will go into once it's ready to be filled in the squeeze tubes. I believe this is either a 10 milliliter or 15 milliliter squeeze. I have the caps and everything in here. This is the lip gloss base that I will be using, the TKB Versagel. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour the lip gloss base into the bowl. So you have the lip gloss base in the bowl. Then next you're gonna add your oils. So I'm adding grapeseed oil. Just gonna pour, pour some of that in there. And you can always go back in and add more oils as you mix up the gloss. This is the coconut oil going in next. Right. 
then we're gonna add the fragrance oil and this is how I make my my gloss to each is on but these are pretty much ingredients to making this gloss and again feel free to drop comments below and think of a name for this gloss um, this is how it looks before you mix it together then I'm going to I think I'm going to start out with using the liquid pigment and this is purple and again we can add more as we go if needed it is separating because it, is, it does have the oils in there um, I'm going to go ahead and add the glitter Not too much because I want to save some for the next batch. I'm going to move this out the way. I'm going to add a little bit more of the liquid pigment. Now it is time to mix. This is the whisk I think that's what you call it. it does take batteries so let's get into it and honestly this is my first time using this usually I would just use a regular spoon mixing spoon but we want to see how this turns out I do have a spoon nearby just in case I need it All right, y'all, so using the whisk just to be transparent was an epic fail for me. Maybe I'm not using it right, but it was a little too messy. So I'm going old school and I'm using a handy, dance, handy dandy spoon to mix the gloss. So this is how the gloss is turning out. Very, very pretty. It smells really, really good. Again, it's lavender scent. I'm gonna add a little bit more grapeseed oil. Also, I added a little bit more Gracie oil to get it to the consistency that I desire. Now I'm going to transfer this into the syringe to start filling up some of the tubes. And then I'm going to get into mixing another batch with using the Mika color powder to see how that turns out. All right, as you can see, I filled the tube with the gloss. Now I'm going to start to fill the syringes. Or excuse me now as you can see I filled the lip gloss in the syringe and now I'm going to start to fill some tubes and you want to pinch the ends so it can get all the way to the bottom You don't want to overfill it, um, you just want to fill it just enough because when you put the top in, it might not fit or it might overflow and you don't want that. All right, so that's the first one.
All right, y'all, so I filled six of the tubes using the liquid pigment. It's more so like a clear um, consistency when you put it on. Also wanted to mention, anytime that I'm selling lip gloss, um, before putting on the label or what have you, I always um, rinse off the tubes with soap and water, warm water, um, so that way the outside of the tube is not really sticky, oily, um, or whatever the case may be. So just wanted to add that in there as well. All right, y'all, so I'm getting ready to test out the first batch of lip gloss that I made using the liquid pigment. So you can see how it looks on my skin tone. It smells really good. Again, I use the scent Lavender. So far, it feels amazing. It's not too thick, not too runny, and I love it. And the scent is not too strong. Again, this is a purple, a light purple um, tint, but it comes out clear. Um, I use the purple um, pigment to get this color to show in the tube. Again, links will be in the description below. And if you enjoy me making lip gloss, give this video a thumbs up. Um, like I said, leave a comment um, naming this lip gloss. I will be making another batch shortly using the powder um, Mika um, pigment color to see how that turns out. And who knows, you could um, win a free lip gloss for the best name, and I may even add it to my website. So let's get back into the video. I'll be making the next batch with the Mika powder. All right. Um, the next six that I'll be doing um, for the next batch, I'll be using the Mika powder. So you can see the difference in that versus the liquid pigment and the uh, powder pigment. Um, but so far, it turned out really pretty. Drop a comment below. The best name um, for these glosses will win a free gloss. All you have to do is um, drop a comment with the name for each of the glosses. And um, I will email you if I think this name fits the gloss. So best name wins. The first six um, is with the liquid pigment color. And then the last six will be with the powder pigment color all right y'all so on to the next batch um, i've already put in the um, coconut oil and the grapeseed oil with the base and the lavender um flavoring or scent now i'll be adding the color mika powder to give it that purple color so pretty So that's there. And then I decided instead of adding glitter, I wanted to try something different and add these purple stars. Again, you can get things like this off of Amazon or Etsy. Um, I'll be adding these purple stars to this gloss to see how it turns out. And I did switch my gloves as well. Now it is time to mix it on up. You have to trust the process. Um, it may looks like look like slime. 
to be honest, when you're mixing it, but again, trust the process. You can always add more lip gloss space to thicken it back up if you think it is too runny. So it is a little thick, so I am going to add a little bit more um, coconut oil to this and then mix it up some more and then put it in the syringe to fill the lip gloss tubes. Also, I forgot to mention that I take the end of the pipette and coat it with some of the lip gloss so that way the stars can stick on the inside of the tube. Alright, so this is how it looks after the tube is filled. You can see the stars in there as well. Really, really pretty. I think I like this one the most. Um, but this is how this one looks with the powder pigment and then this one with the liquid. Very, very pretty. All right, so I'm gonna be trying on the second gloss that I just made with the stars, and let's see how it goes. It is the same scent, lavender, and this is with the powder pigment. All right, so it's still giving clear. Um, a great consistency. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I know you probably thought like, oh no, purple lip gloss. I don't know how that's going to look. The, the purple color is obviously just for the aesthetics. Um, it comes out clear as you can see um, on my lips. But yeah, so just wanted to show the difference between using a liquid um, color pigment versus a powder color pigment. Alright y'all, so these are all of the glosses. The left one is with the Mika powder pigment and the right one is with the liquid powder. I'm sorry, the liquid pigment, color pigment. Um, again, drop a comment and name these glosses. The best name wins a free gloss. Um, my information will be in the description below. 
I hope you all enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe so we can continue to enjoy each other's company. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.